Hello and welcome to this video. Mr.net is here and this is video number 12 of our Sudoku tutorial. In the previous videos we create a main menu and with click on this button we can start a Sudoku game and we see that the Sudoku game is filled out. And in this video we want to remove some numbers so that we can play a real Sudoku game. So to implement this function we are open our scripts and we open the English Sudoku generator. And inside this generator I implement a new method. I call this method private static void, uh, not a void. We have to return an English Sudoku object and I call this method remove some random numbers and as, a, uh, and as an argument sorry that was a little bit German <laughs> as an argument I get an English Sudoku object and inside this method we have to create a new instance of our English Sudoku object I call this the new Sudoku object. Then I instantiate this object and I have to create a copy of this original here. Okay, so new Sudoku object dot values is English Sudoku object dot values dot clone. And I have to cast this object into a two-dimensional array from type integer, integer. Well, now I have a new Sudoku object. Then I need a list with all values inside a Sudoku object. So for that, I create two for each loops. One smaller than 10 that's j also smaller than 10 and then I create a list I call this list values and I insert each value I multiply with j And these values are in this list. So I create a new method, private static, which returns me a list from type int integers. I call this method get values. So I cut this here, place this into my method, and I return my list. So now I can create here a list. I call it also values is get values. Now I have here my values. Then I have to implement a while loop. And this while loop needs a boolean is finish is false and when this finish is false this while loop is repeating okay so the first thing what I need is an in integer type index is random dot range from zero and I take the length of my list of my values list here. Then I need a searched number or searched index is values
and the number in the list on index which is random so then I need one the first loop here which starts with one smaller than 10 and inside I implement also a second loop which starts also with one smaller than 10 so and now if I multiply j is the same like my search index mm, rename search searched index then I have to create a new Sudoku instance I call this instance the next Sudoku object And I also copy the values of this object. Next Sudoku object values is new Sudoku object dot values dot clone. And also I have to do a casting. Well, now I have a temporary Sudoku object. And inside this Sudoku object, I have to remove one value, and this is the value J uh, I on the row I and on the column J. But give attention, we start with 1 and the index starts with 0 so I use here i minus 1 and j minus 1 and the value is 0 okay and for me in the Sudoku game we don't have a 0 so the 0 is an empty field for us and now we have to check if we have a Sudoku game so this and Every time in the game we need minimum one field which has only one possible answer. And for that we use our try to solve algorithm, but we have to modify it. Because this algorithm solves the Sudoku object also if when we have more possible values. So I need a new argument which is from type boolean and I call this argument only one and this is false okay then we have has empty fields to fill I open this method and also this method gets an argument from type boolean only one and it is false so, and when this argument is true, this method here, if only one is true, this method has to return if the amount of possible values is one and only one, then I get a true. Otherwise, I get a false. Okay. So I close this. Go to my has empty field method. And inside this method, I use the only one property. So now, when this is true, this if statement is only true when I have in the Sudoku game one field or minimum one field which has only one possible value. Then I can use this algorithm here. And I have to use this also inside this body here. Only one. 
so I try to save it. And that's the method what we have to use here. If try to solve next so local game object, so the copy of the game object, we try to solve it, and the argument here is true. So if this is true, then I can solve this object here. And I say that my new Sodoku game object is the next game object. And now if, and also I have to remove from my values the index. And if values dot count is smaller than thirty, for example, is finish is true. And I return return my new Sodoku object. Okay, and inside my create Sudoku object method, I say return remove random some random numbers, and I remove the random numbers from the English Sudoku object. So I save the script. I open Unity and I start the game. Now we see we have a Sodoku object and with this we can play. Okay, that's for this video. Hopefully I explained it well for you. Please give me a comment or subscribe my channel to support me and hopefully I see you in the next video. Bye.